Hi guys, my name is Danielle. Welcome to Youth Village. I'll be explaining to you what statistics is. Before I start with what statistics is, did you know that we use it in an everyday situation? Say for instance, calculating your average marks, or determining which is your favorite football team, or what brand of cool drink is the best. Statistics is the collection of methods for planning experiments and obtaining data, and then organizing, summarizing, presenting, analyzing, and then interpreting this data and drawing conclusions from it. The first part of this definition of statistics, organizing, presenting, and summarizing the collected data, refers to descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics allows the collected data to be presented in a way that makes it easier to obtain information from. The main aim of descriptive statistics is to summarize a sample collected from a population of interest. A population is a group of items or elements or individuals that possess common characteristics that are to be studied. A sample is a subgroup of this population. We usually refer to a population being of size capital N and a sample size being of size small n. For example, if I randomly selected 250 first year students from a particular university which has a total of 1,500 first year students, then my sample size would be 250 and my population size would be 1,500. The next part of the definition of statistics refers to inferential statistics. Inferential statistics is about making generalizations about a population using the information collected from a sample. Populations are usually very large and it can become very costly and time consuming to obtain information from every single element in that population. Therefore, we use a sample drawn from the population of interest to obtain these conclusions and estimates that we require. However, these estimates or conclusions may not always be accurate. Therefore, with inferential statistics, they are usually expressed in some sort of language of probability or chance. Now, I know we have been through a lot of definitions already, and it might not be making sense, but we still have two more definitions, and then hopefully everything can be put into perspective. A characteristic or measure of description that is calculated using information from the population is referred to as a parameter, whereas this characteristic or measure of description that is calculated using information from a sample is referred to as a statistic. I find that the best way to remember the difference between a parameter and a statistic is look at the first letters of the words. A parameter, which starts with a P, is calculated using information from a population, whereas a statistic, which starts with the letter S, is calculated from information from a sample. What we mean when we talk about a parameter or statistic is usually a mean, some average of some value in a population or a sample, or a variance, or even a proportion in that population or sample. One of the main objectives of statistical inference is to use this statistic calculated from a sample to estimate a parameter from a population. Let's look at an example. Suppose a survey of 2,000 households in South Africa found that 48% subscribe to DSTV. Determine what the population, sample, parameter, and statistic are. First, we need to determine what are we interested in calculating from this question. Now, because it says 2,000 households in South Africa were randomly surveyed, then our population of interest would be all the households in South Africa. So our population would be all the South Africans. And then the 2,000 of them would represent our sample. So in this case, our sample would be the 2,000 South African households that were surveyed. And then this is our sample size as well. So that is our little n. Our big n, our population size, would then be all the households in South Africa. Now what we have calculated in this question were the proportion of South Africans that subscribe to DSTV. And that was given from the 2,000 households surveyed, the proportion of these South Africans that subscribe to DSTV was equal to 48%. Now because this percentage was calculated using information from the sample, this 48% is referred to as a statistic. And the parameter that we are interested in is actually the total percentage of South Africans that subscribe to DSTV. In this last example, the statistic or the parameter of interest that we were calculating was the proportion of South Africans that subscribe to DSTV. 
Now, let's look at another example. In the last year, the average stats marks of first-year students at a particular university was 56%. Determine what the population, sample, parameter, and statistic are. For this example, we calculated the average stats marks of all the first-year statistics students. So that means, in this example, the population of interest would be equal to all the stats students that are in first year. The value that was calculated in this example, 56%, which represents a mean. So this mean value, which is the average value of the stats marks, is 56%, but this was calculated using information from all the stats students, which means that this percentage represents a parameter. No sample was taken and no statistic was calculated. We used all the individuals in this population. Well, that is your introduction to statistics. Thank you for watching UVillage.